Good evening everybody. Welcome to the studio this evening. A little bit of a change because I'm kind of feeling... I've been on the phone today, oh, uh, for nine hours uh, with work and I just don't feel like doing scraping tonight. So I'm just going to do some more of um, this cuff that I was um, doing a little while ago. I just thought I'd continue it. So, um, sorry if you're expecting to see some scraper board tonight. Should be back tomorrow. It's just it was a. Uh, so it's been a really busy day. I'm kind of really sort of tired a little bit. Sort of almost can't be bothered, uh, and uh, I almost didn't bother streaming. So um, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, 36, 36, 39, 40. Just proving I can count, you see. Uh, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 53, 56, 57, 59, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 for the moment. That's there's at least another 200 to go on there. But uh, Jasper, 5020. Good evening. Welcome to the studio this evening. I am. Um, just just for this evening I'm not feeling the scraper board so I'm doing something a little bit different well not a little bit different I'm just doing something different um, I've been doing before but uh, I just haven't got around to finishing it and uh, hopefully I'll feel a bit more like it tomorrow two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 6, 7, 38, 39, 40, 41, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 85, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, and I think I'm one short, but never mind. Fluffy Twiglet, good evening. Yes, Jewel Rift, just for this evening. Um, I've been on the phone at work today for nine hours. Okay, that was in three phone calls with a very short break in between them but nine hours and I my brain's gone and I don't feel like um, I don't particularly feel like taking the chance of doing scraper board. So at least the worst I can do with this is I can scratch a ring or I can break a ring. Worst I can do with a scraper board is completely mess it up. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing this this evening. 
Yeah, no, it's um, it's not so much tired like that. It's kind of brain weary, if that makes sense. Um, it's um, yeah. I did actually consider not streaming at all, but um, I kind of don't like doing that. It's not so bad, sort of saying, yeah. Yesterday, oh, I'm not going to bother streaming today, but it's unless the yeah. You know, I suppose I could have just come on and said I'm off. Bye. But I know if I do something, I'll feel a lot better. Uh, I'll feel better uh, for doing it, and uh, it'll sort of wake me up a little bit, and I can do a little bit more <laughs> after of other stuff after the stream as well. Aldel H, good afternoon, welcome to the studio this evening. So you're gonna see me opening opening all these pink rings, closing all the purple rings, uh, and then um, I can do some uh, do some of the weaving, dragon scale weave, and get a little bit closer to finishing this. Um, that's a bracelet, I suppose, but you'd, I'd, I'd call it a cuff because it's so uh, so wide. Uh, it will be somewhat of a spectacular piece, I think, when it's done. That ring is clean. I thought it was scratched at first. I've got a hundred rings here uh, to, uh, to do. Of, uh, pink to open, 100 rings of purple to close. And uh, I guess it's going to take me about uh, Five or six minutes to do all these. Uh, these are hundred. It's about four seconds per ring. <laughs> so if you were counting, uh, I do say about. <laughs> yep. Well, that's one way of doing it. You can use two pliers, two sets of pliers, but you don't. You only need to hold one side of it um, secure. So, I mean, uh, with some of these larger rings, you could do this with your fingers, but um, it just hurts. So, this is a a ring opening ring. Dear. It's going to be a dropsy, I think. Dropping things. There are um, times, old LH, where um, I wish I had kind of a machine that would open these for me. Uh, and the smaller ones, I kind of I wish I had something that would untangle them. Be this one. Um, I do have enough of these rings to make another. Well, I hope I do. Until I actually finish it, I don't know. But uh, I think this, it's as close to about 400 rings 
uh, pink rings to um, to complete this, and I've got another 500, I think, when this is done. So I have enough to do another, and then that's it. These pink rings, well, at least one in town, are not going to be made again, which is a pity because I like the colour. Um, well, I suspect these are made by machine, to be honest. <laughs> they're not machine cut, though. They well, okay. They if they are machine cut, the the um, the machine that cuts them uses a rotary saw or a jeweler saw, one or the other. Um, but they're almost certainly they're wound. Uh, Wound on a machine. I have thought about making rings. They're not that hard to make. Um, in the UK, actually, it's harder to find the wire than it is to actually be able to work to wind the things. If you're in America, you've got. Um, Lots of options available to you. You can buy the wire very easily. You can buy um, buy the tools to do it with. I can buy the tools. I just so far haven't found a source of wire. And then I've got to work out whether it's actually worth doing or not. Um, It probably, I was going to say, it's probably probably is worth doing, but it's like everything else. How much is time? Well, how much is time worth? That's obvious, isn't it? It's whatever you pay for it. But um, if I spend all my time making rings, then I can't uh, I can't spend the time making the jewelry. <laughs> But this particular piece was um, was started um, because I just wanted to try dragon scale, and um, that was it mainly. And uh, as this is sort of the original, the prototype, as with all of my uh, prototypes, um, this one goes to Mrs. Aragon Art. Uh, old dirty MQ. <laughs> uh, I am not a blacksmith. Um, a. I actually don't know what the what it'd be called. Um, metal worker, I guess, at this moment in time, or a jewel a jeweler. Um, what I'm making, or going to continue making, is that. That's about half the length it needs to be. Uh, to make a cuff, oh, I suppose you could call it a bracelet, but with it being quite wide, it, I gen generally call it a cuff. So I am uh, going to be doing more of that. Uh, I'm unlikely to finish it. Well, I'm almost certainly not going to finish it because there's about four hours work to do just that mount. And it's about half what it needs to be. Um, so, probably something like about 10 hours to make in total. Which actually might be one very good reason why I don't put it in the shop. <laughs> uh, I suppose I can put it in the shop because it doesn't, it costs me very little to do so. But, um, don't think I'd sell very many. Uh, 
where you can find this sort of thing. Um, indeed. Well, I've seen that. I've seen some of the um, uh, some shops with chain mail in it. I know. I actually, haven't seen too many um, using the dragon scale, but uh, I must admit I tend not to look that um, that hard these days. I um, uh, there's kind of more. Well, I was going to say more interesting things to look at. Um, uh, on the internet for me, excuse me a second, whilst I just just, just swap out a pair of pliers. Uh, okay, a pair of pliers was holding the camera down, um, so I just wanted to swap it out. So what I do now is close these. I find it quite fascinating just how all of these, um, how rings like this go together to make something that looks like that, or like any of the other things that I do. They're quite, um, that's the one thing I like about this particular craft is just, um, uh, you know, all the, all the way things just weave together to form um, quite amazing shapes. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, does it protect you from dragons? Well, I've got this here, so I'm going to ask you how many dragons, um, how many live fire breathing dragons have you seen on this stream? Don't know about you, but I've not seen any, so it must work. <laughs> Um, but no, well, it's not. You put it on like a a, a bracelet. So obviously this is half. This won't fit me, but um, obviously it goes around, clasp on on the other side, or on the end ends of it, and then um, that's what it uh, what it'll be. You can control trains. <laughs> uh, do you probably? See, I wish they wouldn't. Um... Jumble up like that. Don't know how they do it and uh, manage to do it, but they always do. And it's just a bit awkward untangling them all. Well, you can't wonder does that count. That's why I said live breathe if I are breathing dragons. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's not attacked me or anything, so um, it's doing its job still, is, uh, is this, if it's uh, protecting me from it. I wasn't quite hoping you'd forgotten about the one I carved, but I was kind of trying to exclude it on purpose. to the people you live with um, old dirty MQ uh, Max out the cake good evening welcome um, thanks uh, old dirty MQ see um, your, your name probably means something different to you than to me um, to me, MQ is, is a message queue, in actual fact, um, some IBM software, message queuing software called MQ. And so an old dirty queue 
would be one that's been around for a, for a long time that's not um, not not been uh, had its messages sent correctly <laughs> so your name has a different meaning to me Um, I know some of you will be looking at this and thinking, I think you need lots of patience to do this, so um, it doesn't that get boring, and it kind of doesn't <laughs> in either case. Um, it's certainly quite relaxing. Uh, this is this is perhaps the easy bit of um, weaving rings, just opening and closing them like this. Um, but uh, you know, it's like just you know, here I'm doing this talking to you. I don't need a lot of concentration to do it. Uh, I'll need a bit more when I start actually doing the weaving, but um, it's kind of a nice calming thing to do and uh, um, listening to music or well if I wasn't streaming I'd probably either be listening to a stream or maybe a book because it's kind of difficult to watch something while you're doing this because you, you have to sort of watch where you put the rings in the pliers and that the um, the clothes properly and things like that but uh, it's, a, it's quite an amazingly relaxing thing to do Um, no, as far as I know, I'm not. I'm not dropping any frames. Um, I don't have a noise gate turned on, so it shouldn't be that. And um, there's music playing in the background, so there's a continuous sound um, going out from this end. I guess if, if I was dropping frames at this end, you'd be getting popping sounds. You ever um, feel like doing chainmail stuff? Uh, it's worth investing in ergonomic tools like this than um, the sorts of tools that you tend to be able to get. The very hard handles on these. Uh, this is somewhat the same as well, but I have these for a different reason, and. Um, after after a while these are relatively soft compared to those and with them being a bigger handle as well <coughs> it's it stretches it spaces out the stress on your fingers but you can make your hands so using the pliers so ergonomic and and wide handles are, um, are certainly worth investing in if you're interested in doing any of this sort of things generally speaking doesn't cost you much more than um, than the uh, cheaper ones, shall we say? Nothing wrong with them, particularly as pliers. They uh, they do the job. It's just for long long periods of time holding the handles can make your fingers so. Actually, when I'm doing the things this size. Um, kind of thinking about investing in the magnifier <laughs> my eyes aren't what they used to be as you can see I'm wearing glasses I 
And these are meant for reading, not for doing this sort of stuff. of unusual um, old dirty MQ if you're getting um, if you're getting video but no audio or video but audio dropping out it usually happens the other way around thank you old dirty MQ well I hope I'll see you around again feel free to follow me if you like and of course um, as Moobot said there I encourage you to check out the shop <laughs> Uh, thank you for dropping in. Good evening, 3D Block. And how are you today? Has your um, DVI connectors arrived yet? Those of you who weren't around a little bit earlier, uh, if you're wondering, uh, I thought I might be doing ch um, scraper board this evening, you were right <laughs> in thinking that, but um, the reason I'm not is I have spent nine hours on the phone today at work, and I mean literally nine hours on the phone. Uh, my brain was somewhat tired and I just did not really feel um, feel like doing scraper board and not only that I kind of just didn't feel like I was um, taking the concentration and uh, of course as I keep saying you can whilst you can repair scraper board if you really mess it up <laughs> you end up starting again and so I don't, didn't want to mess it up so I'm doing something here the worst I can do is damage a ring which means it gets thrown away. Uh, you know, so I'm throwing away a few p, not several hours of work, and uh, and a uh, not so cheap piece of board. Uh, that's good. No adapter yet. Okay. No, we're not going to see any streaming from you then tonight. Dirty MQ, thank you very much for following. That is kind of you very much, thank you. Halfway through these purple rings, and then once these are done, we can uh, actually do some weaving with the things. Unfortunately, this is part of the craft, one that often gets left out on pre recorded videos and things, but here you get to see it all. into doing some animation stuff uh, free or 
just to uh, to play around with. Those of you who are watching, I don't know 3D blog. Not only is he a professional artist <laughs> with an airbrush and um, acrylic paints, uh, now technically he's um, he's also a professional oil painter. Um, paints with oil paints with a the, a real paintbrush, and uh, he's a streams games. Oh, blame me, that's tangled itself up quite a bit. Uh, like spin tyres and H1Z1, uh, where you get to see him die a lot. <laughs> um, so, yeah. unfortunately, he's not uh, streaming at the moment because he's just had PC problems. But, uh, yeah, check him out, follow him, have a look next time he's streaming. Interesting, uh, interesting person to watch, whatever he's doing. even get to see him do some animation stuff there. If anything gets you frustrated with um, chainmail work um, it, it's it's here where the rings uh, sort of have just managed to get themselves together and you're trying to unhook them and it's a bit like the nail puzzles if you're familiar with those they only unhook in a particular way you can open them and close them again but I kind of prefer to sort of just unhook the things Actually, the real frustrating stuff is you get everything lined up in your hands when you start a weave and then you drop it. <laughs> and you pick it up, sort it out, get everything held in your hands, start to put a ring on and you drop it. That gets frustrating. Though I, ha I do admit now I have found a way that they, the two weaves so far that I found really hard to start have been the half Persian weaves, so the three in one and a four in one. Um, the last time I tried it, which was for this silver metal bracelet I've got on my wrist, um, it took me about 20 minutes to to start it, to get it to the point where it's what they call a stable weave. You, you don't need to worry about you losing the pattern when you put it down. Um, but uh, I have now developed a technique where I can start it first time every time now, without any problems whatsoever so I'm kind of really pleased about that it sort of turned what would be a really frustrating weave to start with into a really nice easy one to go with I'm kind of surprised it's one of not a technique I've not actually seen described anywhere either Ah, I've got Ambleton, um, the, probably the cut down version installed on, on the machine here because we're giving it away with the um, uh, the preamp um, uh, A to D but despite the fact that I've played musical instruments um, quite a few and I can read music and I can, well, I'll say I can sort of play a keyboard. Um, I'm no good at music creation. <laughs> at least I don't think I have. It's probably more a case of I have no idea how the software works more than anything else. So, uh, free if you ever do any, and let me, well, let me know when you're going to do it. If you know you pop on the stream, and maybe I'll watch and see actually how you do it, how you use this software.
because I kind of do like producing music. Um, I used to do, used to like playing around with the MIDI stuff because, of course, with a MIDI, uh, you can actually type the notes in. <laughs> So I can read the music and um, type them into a MIDI app and have the music actually play. You know, you're getting, um, you're getting as bad as I am, uh, Fee, for um, things to broadcast. You've got um, airbrush, acrylic airy stick, um, oil airy stick, H1Z1, um, Spin tires, uh, Ambleton music now, Cinema 4D. You do more than I do. I'll take your word for it. Uh, for it. I, I've no idea about them. It's not something I specifically looked into, to be honest. It, it, um, I say it, it came with the um, the year today and um, I installed it and I fired it up and I looked at it for about 10 minutes and I haven't fired it up since <laughs> I, mean, I know the principle of it being a sequencer and, and what have you but yeah Oh, and papercraft. Ah, okay. Yeah. You see, there you were th telling me I did a lot of crafts, and you do more than I do. Not far to go now with these purple rings, and then we'll uh, we'll weave some of the things. No idea. How long have I been streaming? Forty-three minutes. Hmm. To do two hundred rings, about two hundred rings. Hmm. Do I generally work at about? Average about six seconds per ring to uh, to to prepare it. Six to eight seconds anyway, uh, if you include counting them. So so what's that? Two hundred times eight seconds. So that's one thousand six hundred seconds. Uh, that's about twenty minutes. Hmm. I'm slow. Uh, Eyes Nick Kenzie. Thank you very much for following. That's uh, kind of you. So, if you want to do this fast, don't do it while you're streaming. <laughs> is the uh, the motto. So far, it looks like it's taking me twice as long as normal. And your closing rings just take a little bit longer than uh, than opening them. So I should have turned myself, but never mind. Right, only about a dozen left. And then we'll see if I can actually remember how to do this. Because I haven't done any of well, I haven't done any of this dragon scale since um, since the last stream when I did it, <laughs> when I finished it as it was here, and ran out of rings. Apparently you can do this weave either by closing the big rings or closing the small rings. And I've chosen to close the small rings because it seemed that that was the easiest thing. 
uh, for when you're weaving this but uh, there are two different ways and apparently some people prefer closing the big ones So how was college today, Fluffy Twiglet? Did you uh, did you get another assignment, or are you still trying to work out what that uh, professional studies uh, professional practice is? Another thing that I've um, ex been experimenting with, and I'm just waiting to get um, uh, some more, uh, like a, a brooch uh, fitting or a um, hair clasp. Of, uh, little uh, uh, flowers, I suppose. That's a bit like a poinsettia, is this one? Uh, just experimenting with that. I'm going to maybe put a I say put a, uh, a clasp of some kind on the back so you can either go as like a brooch or, um, or a hair clip. Right, time to weave. Time to remember how to weave. This is the challenging bit. So, um, if I do that, do I want a ring on the end of it? Yes, I do. Okay. This I think I do. So, if I do that. Through there, and then drop another ring on. Okay, drop another ring on on that side. Thank you very much. And let me close this. And I've already done that. Yes. Terrible, this isn't it? I haven't done it for so long. I can't actually remember how to uh, how to do this. So I go through those two, I believe. Come back through there. And put a ring on. And close. I'm actually thinking that light could do with being in a different place. So, excuse me a second. It's a bit, um, a bit dim for me. So let me turn that like that. And then try and just shield you a little bit. And uh, am I going to get here? Yeah. 
Um, Find it with you there. You're in the shadow from that camera, but at least you're not getting the glare off the light. And then I can see what I'm doing as well, which helps. Um, so. What I might do is zoom that other camera in a little bit so you can see more what I'm doing. It might be an idea. Put that over here. And that's about that'll do. Uh, but what I need to do now is focus it. There we go. Right, so that. It is important that these little purple uh, rings, which will look blue to you, um, because of the magic purple, uh, goes in the right place. It actually sits physically in the right place in the. Um, in between the, the other rings. Hmm. Not quite sure why this feels harder than last time. It's almost as though I'm doing something, not doing something right. Feels a bit a bit more awkward. Almost as though I'm doing it backwards. Maybe I am. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Maybe I started at the other. Uh, maybe I started at that end and worked this way. Maybe that's why it feels a little odd. Let's try it. Uh, so I'm going to put a ring through there. means I want another one to start with. Okay. Try coming the other way around. No, not at the moment, uh, Fluffy Twiggler. And Junior's been out all day. He, um, he was on the desk this morning. Just you know, just where the cameras are, as usual. He, di he did appear there last night, uh, just after the stream. Now then, did I, did I end up scratching that ring? thing with these you've got to kind of make sure you hold it securely now did I do that correctly am I missing am I missing something's wrong there now oh, that's what that is. That ring goes there. As I say, you've got to make sure that these um, little purple rings do go in the right place. Because if they don't, then um, the weave just binds up. I'm not altogether sure that I'm doing this right. It just, mm, just seemed easier last time. <laughs> I 
Not yet is perhaps um, perhaps the right uh, way of putting it, LLH. After all, it's only nine o'clock, so it's, um, it's not due to appear for about another 20 minutes, at least. 20 to 40 minutes. I'm not happy with the way I'm weaving this. Why did it seem a heck of a lot easier last time? It'll just be all to do with just the angle of holding things, but... just have to get used to uh, to weaving this thing again but it's working it's just um, seems terribly um, awkward Well, don't want to do that. Let go. Thank you. So. Mm, that might be the way I was doing it. You get into kind of a rhythm with doing this sort of thing, you know, a particular way of doing, uh, moving the rings or holding them. And uh, once you get back into it, it, you know, it fits, shall we say, it just gets, e it gets easy again. And maybe that's just, uh, maybe that's what I'm doing is like that. That's it, that just feels like I was doing it that way last time. That's it. I had a visit from Cleo. She sat the, on my other chair, the other side of the, uh, the other side of the studio. 
We've been rather quiet tonight. So now I want one of these. All right, I'll pick up that one then. And we just go through that ring there. <laughs> what was I saying earlier about dropping rings? Almost the weekend. I'm going to spend the weekend packing boxes, tidying up, throwing things out. So, not the most uh, fascinating of weekends. Anybody got anything interesting planned? Or is it just uh, a weekend of kicking back and watching interesting streams like mine? Go around there. I know you're trying to be awkward, but I'm not going to let you. I think by the time I finish this cuff, all oh, sort of 400 odd rings. Why do you have a blue ring on the end there? Probably me doing something wrong. So we'll take that blue ring off. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Which fits rather nicely, what I was just about to say is, by the time I've done this, all 400 or 800 plus rings that it's going to take, I might just have got the hang of it and might just remember what goes on each row. Because at the moment, I don't seem to forget. When I put one through, that's... Yeah, which is what I'm doing now. I do want one of these on here. I'm trying to remember that, um, as I've mentioned it before, there's only the two rows, and um, they alternate. So there's only two sort of two patterns to do this in, and you kind of think by now, having done. Uh, what, something like 40 or 50 rows of this thing, I'd have got the pattern in my head and um, wouldn't be forgetting which rows which, but I'm doing flaps for days. <laughs> Interesting. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for following. Zed Raised, also thank you very much for following. Uh, you need to do a restart. Okay. 
<laughs> ah, well, in this particular case, I can tell you that he's on a 15 minute timer, so. Well, 15 minute timer and. Um, oh no, yeah, it's just a 15 minute timer in this particular case. where my day has gone today actually it was quite a productive day it was just on the phone for a long time good job I've got a headset otherwise I'd have severe neck ache by now but uh, and it's uh, my brain must be a little bit frazzled this does seem to be a lot more hard to work than it should be Um, sort of yes and no. <laughs> well, apart from the fact that I wouldn't, um, uh, I wouldn't make um, full chain mail. A um, couple of um, couple of things about that. It, yes. This is a you weave chain mail using rings just like I'm doing here, um, but you wouldn't actually use this pattern for it. This is for for armor. It's not very flexible. Um, it's it's really time consuming. Um, uh, to make uh, this closer weave, what you would actually use is. Uh, this is called dragon scale. What you'd actually use is a weave like this, which is um, it's called European four in one. Now these are slightly smaller rings than the pink the pink ones that I'm using. But as you can see, it looks a lot more open because it doesn't need to be uh, really tight uh, because the idea of chainmail was to protect from things like axes, uh, swords. And uh, so, you know, it just needs not to leave a gap big enough for a sword or an axe to get through, although you'd certainly feel it if somebody hit you with one of those. Um, so, European four in one, but they'd use something like quarter inch rings. These are, uh, what are these? One eighth, something like that. So, at least, you know, a ring which would effectively be at least four times larger than that. But otherwise, yes, it's um, to, to make that, it's just a different pattern. I'm still weaving it in much the same way. This one is just um, a heck of a lot more decorative. what I was doing with this before I think putting the pliers down and picking them up again so it's a lot quicker not to when you're weaving not to put the pliers down but um, in this particular case I think it's um, it's easier to put them down
no problem, Crypticus. It's part of the reason why I, um, I stream doing all sorts of things. Not just um, the chain work that I'm doing now. By the way, if um, if you if if you know, people who want um, chain mail, as in the the armor stuff, um, whilst technically it's created in a similar way, um, although medieval times they would have obviously used iron and they would rivet it together. These are just um, the rings are just bent to uh, to close the gap. Uh, in medieval times they would have actually physically riveted them together uh, so that they held. Um, the other thing um, that if you were going to you know, make a suit of chainmail these days uh, you almost certainly wouldn't want to hand make it just because of the costs involved. Um, you can actually go you know, commercially buy chain mail and they actually um, they actually knit the stuff uh, as it's called uh, on a machine uh, so um, <laughs> they feed wire into the machine and chain mail comes out the other end and uh, of course being made by machine the machine made stuff is um, considerably cheaper and by considerably cheaper, I mean in UK pounds, instead of talking about several thousand UK pounds, you're talking about several hundred. Of course, if you really wanted a chain person making chain mail like this to, uh, to do your suit, uh, many of them would be... Um, up for it, of course. I'm not sure I would. It's one heck of a long job. Yeah. That's true, it is. I mean, uh, uh, I, I actually find it quite amazing um, the way in which um, the you know, machines have been designed to actually do that. I mean, I've watched, I've watched machines making chain. That's literally just normal chain, link in, link in, link, uh, and doing it sort of several hundred links a minute. Um, and that in itself is quite complex, the way all the bits of the machine move around to, uh, to close the links and, and get them inside the other links and things. But um, the way um, that European 4-in-1 is made, um, it just, it just blows, from, blows my mind in a way how the machines... Somebody's been, had to sit down and design a machine to actually do what is a relatively complex um, sequence of movements and time it all perfectly. See, I've gone and forgotten again how <laughs> Only two patterns, and I've forgotten. And I only did it a few seconds ago. Keeping this, I'm getting better at keeping this stuff from firm, you know, while I do this. Not perfect, just better. And hopefully, it's giving you a, a fairly decent view of what's going on. So 
So this weave involves me passing it through two blue rings, going around the next one and then picking up the th uh, a third ring or, or the next ring in, in the next row over and then adding adding a new one for for the next but one row. So the, that one I've just said it won't get used on the next row, it'll get used on the one after that. So what this is kind of doing is it's 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 sandwiching two rows together. Um, so the row I'm doing here doesn't hold the next row; it holds the one after it. But the <laughs> uh, this row will not hold the next one, but the one after that. So it's kind of every alternate row holds together. And so because they every alternate row is sandwiched together, that's how this whole thing holds. And it. Um, it really amazes me. There are several thousand uh, different patterns that people have designed, thought of, made accidentally, however you want, however they've come about. But there are over, there are several thousand patterns of chain mail um, or chain weaving, however you wish to describe it, and uh, they all look different. Some more, some are subtly different, um, and you know, some are so subtly different. You, you know, it's, they're only visible to a trained eye, and I'm not. <laughs> um, and others are fairly, you know, fairly obvious. This sort of doesn't look like the one I showed you a minute ago. Um, you know, so even I can tell those apart, but. Um, So you do get sort of but it's uh, you know and you think you know you've you kind of think it's just a ring going through a number of others how can you get thousands but you do ow I said ow for no reason whatsoever because it didn't hurt me it's kind of like I said ow on behalf of the ring. And I forgot to add a ring. When that happens, you have to take it, open it, and add it back in. Um, C four D uh... Yeah, well the kernel is um fast one OS X. So it kinda doesn't surprise me. Well a Unix kernel is is faster than a than a Windows kernel. Um it might sound like it free, but it isn't it. Uh, these are um, Purple Planet tunes. This is probably, um, I don't know which of the things it is. Might be a, um, uh, a chill, the chill section. But these are, um, uh, they are uh, licensed royalty free uh, music mind you have you said which maybe one thing I ought to do is check whether that um, twitch are not actually muting the VOD they shouldn't be because I have a license to play these Yeah, I, I must admit, as I've listened to a few of these, that you you can, shall we say, you can hear the inspiration <laughs> from other things. OK. 
Come along, ring. You're going to go through, whether you like it or not. There we go. Just through that one and then add a blue ring. Yep, that's right. Hi uh, Crypticus, okay, good evening. Thank you very much for dropping in. And I hope to uh, see you again. Feel free to follow me if you like, and that way <laughs> that way you'll get the notification from uh, Twitch when I go live, or you can follow me on Twitter um, at Zeraganart. Um, because the tweet also goes out when I go live. Oh, and feel free to. Um, I can't do it, but check out the shop. <laughs> this one, uh, free, kind of reminds me of some of the um, Disney tunes. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, right. Okay, Crypticus. Sorry. Um, yeah, it may well be just take time to... Um... Yeah, see you soon. Okay. Sorry, my, uh, my brain shot today. One of the problems of a nine hour phone call or nine hours of phone calls is um, when you're trying to listen really hard to people at the other end and it was a conference call so there's lots of people one of the one of the things you tend to do is close your eyes to help you concentrate but in closing your eyes to help you concentrate you tend to fall asleep <laughs> Which makes it even harder. And if I do that, I want a, a ring on first. There we go. When I first started this weave, it took me quite a bit of time just to get this one started as well. Because of that uh, that thing where it's, as I mentioned, it's sort of two completely separate rows that sandwich each other. Again, the first sort of three, four rows where it then holds together um, was quite an interesting challenge, I remember. I'm doing this right. Hmm. For a minute then I thought we'd played the whole playlist. And I was about to say that's two hours and about two hours and ten minutes long is a playlist, so we can't have been going that long.
They do try and escape from time to time as well, do these rings. I did it again, didn't I? No, I didn't. It's there. That one was trying to escape as well. You miss a blue ring out, then when you come to pick it up a couple of hours later. Um, you end up with kind of like a hole in the weave if it's not there um, and if you um, if you have it in the wrong place like this uh, the blue one there was hanging over the side it tends to lock up the whole weave as well so it's, uh, I'm actually putting these in afterwards when you know if you miss one out on the row enough to put it in two rows later it's um, an interesting activity, shall we say. Humana. I like um, quite often like tunes that have got this uh, that Fox Humana the human voice like that. You wouldn't think it was a weekend, you guys are really quiet tonight.
<laughs> Proxy 2401. Yes, it's going to take many, many, many years because this is not going to be anything to do with medieval armour. <laughs> so, you're right. It's going to be an awfully long time. Uh, I'm not um, not greatly interested in doing that, to be honest. I was about to say it's a, it's quite a long, boring job. Um, boring's the wrong word because I don't find doing this boring, and I wouldn't find doing that boring. But um, it would certainly be a repetitive job. Uh, this is. Um, Mind you, having said which, there's probably as much as many rings involved in this as there would be in a in in some um, chainmail armor, uh, because of course they use uh, bigger rings and a more open weave. But welcome to the stream. Shut down again. Hmm. Well, it feels. around there doesn't feel quite something just in the middle there feels a bit stiff shut down on its own again shut down on its own is usually overheat Otherwise, I mean, a blue screen is obvious. Um, overheats just tend to, um, you yeah, know, bang, it's gone. It's just my imagination. Just, to <coughs> just how the rings are just sitting. But I feel it feels sort of not quite right, and then I go and. Um, You know, just run, just run my fingers over it a little bit more, and it um, it doesn't feel the same. Can't see any errors or anything in it. And you're fixing it at this point would be terrible. Yeah. Yeah, the the process of overheating that just um thank you. Uh, Processes overheating, I tend to think of just freezing more, more than anything. I mean, I think the Xeons throttle down, so. Same as the uh, the I series. It, uh, you make a bracelet, indeed. Uh, it's what it's more, it's wider than a bracelet, I guess. You probably more call it a cuff than a bracelet, but um, a cuff is just a wide bracelet, basically. So, yes. And uh, kind of looks like dragon skin because that's what it's called, dragon skin or dragon scale. Both sort of the same name. I'm just fiddling with it because it kind of feels.
kind of felt st uh, stiff as a, you know, something is locked up, which usually means rings out of place. But um, I can't actually see anything out of place. And I can't actually feel anything out of place. And uh, you know, turning it over like this, both sides, both ends are the same. You can work either end. Um, and this one kind of feels the same. So um, it's probably just imagination, just as the rings move around. Can't see anything out of place at all. As I mentioned, you've got to get these blue rings in the right place, and if they're not, then that does cause you a problem like that. So I think like that one has to sit inside there. And this one has to sit inside there. But there's none peeking out the bottom or anything. So I shall just um, carry on. It could just be um, also that the odd blue ring might just be slightly um, a different size. It sometimes happens. Um, just you know, occasionally, depending on that no, doesn't go on there. Depending on how they've been uh, cut, they're all machine. Sorry, they're all uh, saw cut. But sometimes just. When you close them up, it just uh, they're just slightly smaller than others. And of course, slightly smaller generally makes absolutely no difference at all. But just slightly smaller can make some some things feel a little bit more stiff than others. In mean, actual fact. Slightly smaller over this many rings over this length of bracelet can actually make quite a bit of difference in terms of just length. You know in the end you're going to go exactly where I want you to go, so you might as well go there to start with and save yourself all the trouble of being awkward. Those of you that haven't been around before, you will um, may not realise that I actually talk to these things. Of course it has absolutely no impact on them, but it does make me feel better. I guess there's no harm in talking to the rings. The time you've got to watch out is when they talk back to you. I don't think the graphics processor can cause a shutdown um, free. Normally you just get a graphic uh, graphics restart so Wonder why you, um, your CPUs that might be causing calling you, causing you a problem. Yeah, that's kind of what I just mentioned. You know, it'd be funny, wouldn't it, if um, if you are um, getting over heat shutdowns, because you, know, you were playing um, quite intensive or trying out intensive games the other night without a problem, and it's when it's idling watching a stream is when it shuts down. 
Mind you, it is actually quite surprising just how much processor power is used when you're streaming an HD stream. Usually your motherboard that does that though, rather than the um, rather than the processor, rather than um, mind you having said which, I don't know what happens with um, with Unix or Linux, but uh, Windows I know does um, does override some of the BIOS stuff, you know, the the motherboard stuff. I'm going to say sudden shutdowns aren't usually a, a feature of Windows. Um, the blue screens, but. Uh, I'm assuming it is actually shutting down. Um, and it's not just your graphics card um, going off. <laughs> yeah, if it hasn't caught fire. Hmm. Because your graphics card's about the only thing that you've added to the. Um, the system, isn't it? Um, of what you've had before when it hasn't done it. I think, I mean, you've had Windows loaded for quite a while now, haven't you? Oh, of course, I suppose the, the other thing is, I mean, you, you have put a more powerful video card in, so from what I remember. Chachamaru, thank you very much for that. That's kind of you to follow. Um, I'm guessing that you've got more heat output from this one than you had from the other two cards um, put together. Um, are they doing? You know, are, are the fans on it blowing a different way, for example? So maybe you're now you're now blowing air onto the the um, the master coolers for the um, for the CPUs rather than exhausting out the back of the case, for example. Might uh, might be to uh, have a look in the system logs. 
uh, and see the Windows systems logs and see if there's anything in there that's um, mentioned. It might um, might give an indication of um, a system critical event that's uh, that's causing the uh, an emergency shutdown. I'm guessing you've probably already had a go at looking at that. <laughs> yeah. You know what it is, don't you? It's Apple, uh, Apple have done a VW on you. <laughs> yeah, written something into the BIOS so that whenever it detects Windows running, it just shuts randomly shuts down the machine. That's so that you think yeah Windows is bad and and you go back to uh, you go buy another a brand new Mac. Uh, however, anybody watching, I am joking. I am not seriously suggesting that they do do that. Sad thing about that quote uh, for you is, um, well, there'll be pe potentially people watching that actually don't know who Hal is. Oh, for that matter, why he's called Hal. Of course he was misunderstood. I mean, what would you feel like if you'd been lied to and then told to cover it up? Oh, actually, no, he was told a secret and told not to tell anybody, wasn't he? And yet, yet he had to be truthful or something. I can't, there was, there was something like that, wasn't it? He had to be truthful, but he had to keep this thing a secret.
There you go, you see, even I can't actually remember. Yeah, it's one of those films that you watch and then you wonder just what it is you've seen. <laughs> I still don't understand it. Really don't understand it. I mean, the, um, the later ones that were supposed to answer the questions just, well, they might have answered the questions, they just asked you a heck of a lot more. Yeah, I've read um, read the at least one of the well I've read the the book of that film, and that doesn't help. And for anybody who's still wondering, we're talking about two thousand and one Space Odyssey. Mind you, I love the music from that. Especially the, um, the Blue Danube. I wonder if um, it was Stanley Kubrick, isn't it, that was the director? I wonder if he actually understood it. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's an it's I was gonna say it's an ancient. It's not an ancient waltz, but it's it, it's a Viennese waltz, and yet it doesn't half suit that uh, that's docking scenario. Well, the docking scenario, doesn't it? <laughs> close to the point where we work we find out if I um, can actually count I think the answer is no but um
This is a bit like the music from um, uh, what's that program it used to be uh, weird with weird stories in it. I can't remember now. Which way is it rotating? Is it? Oh, it's a it's a wheel, isn't it? So they're rotating. It's rotating, and they have to follow it round to to dock in. Yeah. Well, that's what docking computers are for. It's an interesting, uh, an interesting docking problem, isn't it? You're thrusting in two different directions at the same time, just to stay in place. Well, in theory, I counted out 100 pink rings and 100 blue rings. And I've got three pink rings left and zero blue rings. Um, so obviously one of the counts was wrong. Actually, I think the blue count was right because I don't need any more blue rings to finish a row. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Mind you, there's um, 99. Yeah. So I've, I've actually got, I must have, I must have done 101 rings of pink and 99 blue. Because <laughs> in every two rows, there's nine rings of each colour. But. And add her rings, which is quite convenient given it's just after 10 o'clock, 10 past 10. So how far have we got with this? Well, she's now five inches long. So it was, it was about three, something like three and a quarter. So at least another 100 rings to finish it. But uh, there we go. I'm not going to do any more tonight because we just happen to have used up those. I'll put those two rings back in the uh, in the case. But um, yeah, that's going uh, going quite well. So at some other point, we'll do some more on that. But probably not tomorrow. I think um, she'll be back to doing the scraper board tomorrow. <laughs> Lovely tactile stuff. It feels quite. Um, no. Well, what's a thick but it's um or, or even chunky for that matter because it kind of doesn't feel chunky but it does feel sort of substantial and yet it's real lightweight i wonder how much it weighs i was about to say anybody want to guess but I, if i was to try and guess at this i'd have a complete um, terrible time of guessing Twenty-seven grams. Hmm. I um, this thing weighs about sixteen. <laughs> so it's, uh, well, this is substantially larger. So it's just the difference in weight between aluminium and silver. Turn that off. Yeah, it probably would actually. Um, silver on the outside, black on the inside. 
Actually, it's, it's, it's actually surprising. I mean, I think probably something like a light blue and a green internal might also be something that's quite... It's surprising just how... Um, actually, that really would look like a dragon scale or something, wouldn't it? Green and something. Uh, Turkey, hey, hi, good evening, welcome. Unfortunately, we're just reaching the end of the stream um, for this evening. We have been doing that. Yes, probably. Uh, I might have to have a go at doing uh, do something like that, but it's um, it's about ten hours to do this. Well, it will be to finish it. So that's not a cheap. Um, it's not a cheap bracelet. Oh, cuff. That sort of uh, sort of time. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this evening. Thank you, everybody, for sorry. I'm, I will spend ages just lining things up. Thank you all for uh, watching. I will, of course, um, point out the advert that's at the side of the window there. And of course, Moobot has um, um, been busy uh, uh, reminding everybody in chat for the last uh, couple of hours. In fact, if I can remember what my command is, I'll get him to do it again. There we go. Um, so, <laughs> they're not cheap. I've got to pay for the rings. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you are watching and not following, um, Okay, uh, I'd like you to do so, but that's up to you. The follow button is below the stream window, of course. You can follow me on Twitter as well if you just like a notification. It's at Zerganart. That will also be on the end plate in a moment. And it is also below the stream window, somewhere down there anyway. And uh, apart from that, if you just want to try and catch me tomorrow, the stream will be at about 8pm UK time, 1900 hours UTC. Uh, about two hours and a quarter of an hour, two and a quarter hours ago. It was eight o'clock, but tomorrow. Should be back to the scraper board. So I'll do some more of the leopard. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you in the studio in the future. And bye bye for now. <laughs>